Hello YouTube, this is Chris, Carl Space Program. Just wanted to do a quick basic tutorial on how to get into a, a circular elliptical orbit around the planet Kerbin. So I am building a quick rocket here just to get us out into space, do the uh, orbital maneuver to circularize our equatorial orbit, and uh, you know, just a quick how-to on how to do it. So I hope you enjoy. Greetings, this is Chris, and with Kerbal Space Program, I'm going to show you how to uh, get into orbit, basic way, uh, without any of these uh, mod modifications. Uh, no mech jab, we're not using any, uh, these are all vanilla parts, all stock parts, um, from rocket motors to decouplers, uh, and then the capsule here. And... Um, we're just going to go ahead and launch this and uh, I'll show you how to get to an orbit around Kerbin, around the equator. So we're going to go ahead and power up here and I'm going to turn on my SAS to uh, keep the, dis the ascent vertical. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem with this design. And we're going to go ahead and lift off. So we're going to we're going to travel uh, vertical straight up uh, until about, um, I'm going to go about 12,000 meters, and then I'll start making my turn. And when you're looking at the nav ball, the orange line here is the north direction, uh, the cardinal direction north. So what we are going to do is, um, we're going to go to the west, I believe. Hold on a sec. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, one way g goes with the rotation of the planet, so it uses a little bit less delta V. It's not really that important um, for this particular rocket. And uh, oh, it looks like I had a design flaw here. I lost that rocket motor. I'm not sure what happened. It might have been stuck in the bottom of the uh, launch pad, so uh, this is going to be an abort. Um, there's no, well, yeah, there's nothing I can do about this. We'll have to uh, we'll have to exit and or go back to the launch pad. Uh, so uh, that decouples. Then there's not much, not enough thrust to weight ratio to get this into the uh, into the air. So not a um, successful launch. But you can see uh, nothing really ever goes to plan. Uh, it's very rare that that happens. So I'm gonna look and just make sure. Uh, I might have to go back to the vehicle assembly building um, yeah I'm not sure well let's just take off now and see what happens yeah as you can see it stayed right on the uh, runway okay let's go to the vehicle assembly building and we'll fix this design flaw because if everything goes right something's going wrong it just never fails all right, let's. Um, we can do actually one of two things. We could actually bring this down a little bit more, and uh, I'll just go five rockets on that anyway. All right, let's see if that works. We're using liquid fuel boosters uh, as opposed to solid rocket, just because uh, I don't know. I, I prefer using liquid fuel whenever possible. All right, so let's go ahead and just reset here, and hopefully, yes, okay, everything's intact. So looking at, um, you know, we got plenty of electricity. We got solar panels here for when we actually get out of in out into vacuum, out of atmosphere. Uh, these boosters have a aerodynamic nose cone on them. I guess it works. It helps. I don't really know. I think it more keeps these rockets from flipping around due to excessive drag, but I wouldn't say release, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and just go right up to our 12.5 kilometer height, and we'll start doing our turn. I'm 
we're going to go ahead and start turning here and we'll go right about uh, right around 45 degrees now our stage is going to burn here we can decouple that and uh, just that little bit of staging actually put me out a little bit out of my uh, ascent path but that's okay so when we look at our apoapsis, uh, forgive all the lines from remote tech. So we want to uh, want to keep this heading right now for a little while, till maybe I don't know. I'd say about 45 kilometers. What do we got here? So actually, probably when this gets down to about a hundred is when I want to. Uh, when I'll start turning. Actually, I can start turning a little bit now, bring down, flatten out my trajectory a little bit. And get that apoapsis through. It's actually probably good right here. So we'll go ahead and flatten this out completely. say right about now we can actually coast to the apoapsis and we're going to go ahead and put a maneuver on there apoapsis, uh, there we go and this will round out our our path here and this is going to be that's about double of what I want so let's do this so 119 146 147, 143, that's close enough. And we'll get ourselves aligned here on that spot. The rocket's reacting a little bit slowly because I don't have any uh, extra torque on this. It's just the pod torque. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we got a nice shot of the moon there, which you can probably see out of everything on this. You can see the one thing you can see, I don't even know if you can see this rocket because it's you know on the dark side, on the nighttime side. Uh, once I go to post production, I'll see if it's actually visible enough to to use in the video. So this might all be for nothing, but who knows? All right, so I want to get down to right about here now. I'll start doing my circularization burn. <coughs> go ahead and you can look here the blue path here is getting going around in the planet and we'll just keep it up a little bit now we can actually start to slow this down a little bit now it's just a matter of uh, finalizing and we're probably good right there so we got 14 148 141 I'm okay with that Please like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know if you want to see something else. Thanks.